So it's been almost a year since we built this pole barn and turned it into a beautiful chicken coop and we still love it. My wife's been posting videos about it and the chickens frequently on her channel. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. But we absolutely love how this thing turned out. And I originally was going to make this little video like one year later. What were the things we would do different? What were the things we would keep the same? But to tell you the truth, you know, I spent a lot of time in this build and we love everything about it. There's just a few more things I need to add to it. Let's go take a look. So there's all the birds congregating in the morning time here and they sure do seem to love their new pen now they're tearing this area up and just really getting it ready for gardening next summer and there it is the pole barn now i've got a guy actually coming out here in another couple weeks and we're going to get a gutter put on this on both sides so that'll help quite a bit because we've got the rain falling down and it's really kicking the mud up back this way so we're going to get some gutters on this so let's head on inside and see what we've got first of all you see the chicken door right here. We're actually going to put in something more automated because we come out every morning and every night and open and close that thing with a piece of plywood here. But we're going to get this guy automated so we don't have to deal with that quite so much because we do have to lock our chickens up in here due to raccoons and coyotes and other predators that just want to get inside. But this thing is Fort Knox, man. My wife loves how this turned out so far. We designed this underneath here so that we could fit all these shavings keep them tucked in out of the way. We've got our nest boxes here all along the side. And there's a couple things that I need to add to this still. It's not quite finished. I know it's been a year since I finished the whole construction. We've been using this, but she wants me to put a couple latches up here so we can hold it up against the wall instead of having to hold it with your hand. But we are getting so many eggs now. We're getting 12 to 15 eggs every day. They're starting to increase in size here if you've had chickens then you know when they're younger they lay small eggs but as they get older those eggs start getting a little bit bigger look at that almost every box has eggs in it pretty cool but yeah we got to get some latches mount up here so that we can just latch those guys up when we're pulling eggs out and then i did put a little screw there so you can hang a broom she does want me to come along this wall and put a two by six along there, just kind of mount it. So she's got a little shelf to set things on. So we don't have to set all of the, uh, the egg cartons here on top of the nesting boxes and move them from side to side as we're opening it. So we need a little shelf along there and I'll get that done eventually. And uh, just those little latches there. Let's go inside here. I have had to adjust this door because as time went by and the weather changed, it's, it was too close. It was just mounted in a way that it was really tough to open this, but I adjusted it and it's really no problem now. She just cleaned this guy and it's already starting to build back up, but we've got over 30 chickens, but there's the coop. Now, I guess the one thing I would do different, I originally, you guys saw, I put these little boards here so we could lay them down. There's another one right here. So the chickens could run up along there and get up onto their perches. But what we found is the chickens don't use them. Somebody in the comments on the series of videos said, they're not rats, Mike. <laughs> and they're not. They're actually, as they get bigger, it's not a problem at all. They just jump right up to there. Some of them use that little one down there to run along. But most of them just jump right up here onto this perch and then right up onto this perch. But it works out great. It's plenty of room for them to get into and snuggle up through the night. So this has been working out really good. And then my wife just cleans it out of this door here. You can open that out to the outside. And it's been working out great for her. In the end, I am really happy with how that turned out. And so is my wife. We spent a lot of time planning and thinking and figuring out how we wanted that thing to turn out and how it was going to work for the chickens. And I think all of that planning really helped in the end because it's working out great for us. She is very happy to have an actual real chicken coop with a barn side to store everything in. And it's just, it's working out fantastic. Now I put this video together because back when I made that series last year, last winter, through the winter, a lot of you who follow me liked that build series and it took so much time to get each one done in between and somebody had mentioned they would like to see the whole thing from start to finish and I thought that'd be a cool idea. So I sat down the other day and just put it all together and that's why I made this one for you guys that wanted to see everything happen really quickly in one video. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week.
and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.